page 223. I had to stop eating, very disturbing, but I haven't yet cried. I haven't shed a tear, but obviously very, very sad. <laughs> page 387 still nothing in terms of tears yet but i've heard that the last 200 pages are when it gets like really really sad so we'll see but hopefully i can finish it today i do have to go to a hair appointment to get my hair cut right now and i'm gonna try and read there too if it's not weird <laughs> Okay, here's my hair. I didn't get to read while I was getting it cut because we ended up just talking. I went and saw a new lady, so we, she was chatty. We just talked, so I didn't get to read, but I just wanted to show you my hair really quick. I got some layers and I did a little curtain bang action and a nice healthy trim and I really like it. Now I'm going to go read, I really gotta read. I'm really struggling to get through this book now at this point. I'm on part five, which is called The Happy Years and that's page 483-ish, 483 and I'm just struggling to get through it because the writing is so dense and long and descriptive and kind of boring. I'm just not really here for that vibe. So like, I wanna finish this book because I wanna know what happens, but also I don't feel like I need to read another 350 pages to do that. Like I could just read the chapter summaries <laughs> and look up what happens in all of that. I just don't feel like reading this. I know that if I push through and finish, like even now at this point, I feel like it's putting me in a slump so like I know that if I were to push through and finish I'm 100% gonna be in a slump and I don't want to be in a slump so I also wanted to do this video where it's like me trying to read it you know under 48 hours or whatever it's not just because of that that I'm like feeling slumpy with it obviously this whole book is gonna do that no matter how long it takes me to finish it so like I think it would be better to just push through and do it in a short amount of time but I also just don't think I care enough Honestly, it's not I know that I'm not the intended audience for this. I can't relate to everything in this book. It's not going to be a piece of literature that changes my entire life or really sticks with me anyway cuz like even now almost 500 pages in, I don't feel super connected to the characters and I'm just not really in love with it at all and that's okay before going into it i wasn't thinking oh i hope that i can connect with the characters i hope the writing's good like i was to an extent obviously thinking those things but my main focus the main thing that i was thinking about before i went into this book was how am i going to react to this traumatic disturbing story that's the only thing that was in my mind the whole time so i was going in preparing myself for all the trigger warnings that everyone talks about and all of that and then I go into the actual book and I don't love the writing I'm not connecting to the characters it's super long and honestly I was expecting worse and a lot of the big traumatic parts are only kind of alluded to and they're not all the time super descriptive there are plenty of other descriptive things in here for sure and I'm not discounting any of the trigger warnings. It's definitely very upsetting and disturbing still so like don't say that I'm trying to make it sound better than it actually is because it still really is a tough read. But for me personally, I was expecting worse. A lot of it, like I said, just doesn't resonate with me because I've never experienced anything in this book. It's hard for me to connect to it and want to continue. So. With all that being said, I am going to be DNFing it at this point in time. I'm not gonna push myself to finish physically reading the last 300 whatever pages. What I can do is read the chapter summaries and just like look up the spoilers in general so I know what this book is fully about. And some of you might be saying that I'm stopping at the worst part to stop, that like 
the rest is the best quote unquote best like part to really understand what the whole story is about but like i'm sorry i just don't care i'm glad that i gave it a shot but it's not for me and this was a little bit of an anticlimactic bit of a bust reading vlog but i'm not gonna not post it i was like oh shoot do i just cancel this whole vlog but this is the point of me vlogging like how I react to this book, how my experience with this book ends up going is what the vlog is supposed to be about. So unfortunately it did end on a sad note, but in a different way. So I don't really know how I'm gonna leave this off. I may or may not be continuing, but it's definitely at least a DNF for now. So yeah, that is the, a little life reading vlog. I'm glad for the people that do get it. I'm happy that there are people who love this book, but I'm just not that person. I really didn't think I was either. Like I went into it with such a challenge accepted mindset that I wasn't gonna cry. I genuinely don't think that even if I finished it, I wouldn't shed a single tear. People have said that like, if you don't cry during a little life, like you have no heart. And like, yeah, maybe that's true. Maybe I'm heartless <laughs> or maybe it just doesn't resonate with me. It's so disturbing and triggering for a lot of people. And in general, like the subject matter is disturbing, but I wasn't disturbed because I didn't like the writing. So I'm not saying it's about anything within this story that like the actual subject matter, but it's the writing and the pacing, all of that. Those are my thoughts. I hope it was entertaining at the very least. And I hope you didn't click on this video hoping to get something that I didn't deliver. I really sincerely apologize if this video was not what you expected. It was not what I expected. So I guess we're all in the same boat here. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.